the vibe of Wild Blue Yonder that I really want to create is just eliminate any barrier of entry for anyone to listen to. I, I, I want it to be music for everyone. If you've never heard a single song in your entire life, I want you to hear the music and just instantly be able to relate to it. My name is uh, Joe Hodges. I've been playing piano for about 11 years. My name's Spencer McNeil. I play the tenor saxophone with Wild Blue Yonder. I'm Dan, Dan Sawyer. Uh, I play bass and guitar in the band. My name is Eli Alfieri. I started playing guitar around the age of seven or eight. My name is Alex Perez. I'm the trumpet player. My name is Frank Molito. I play drums for Wild Blue Yonder. Wild Blue Yonder is an old term for the sky and all of the heavens that could be out out there. Uh, Wild Blue Yonder is something that anyone can pinpoint immediate authenticity in. So uh, not not only are we, you know, satisfying, you know, the brains and the minds of, you know, people who have deep experiences with music itself, we're also just communicating to people, you know, as people. Basically, where the band started is Eli uh, met me when I was in seventh grade at our high school jazz band at Woodland Hills. He was just playing bass. He was really good. He would always take the hi-hat and do two and four on, on the hi-hat with his foot while he was playing bass whenever the drummers were absent. So when I, I met Joe, pretty much from day one, I was just like, I'm, I'm just going to feed this kid opportunities. We ended up really enjoying the music that we make together and joe had to briefly take a break from the band my freshman year of college which ended up me meeting dan who was, became one of my best friends i had always known that frank was a beast on drums and we grew up together which means a lot to me so we brought him in and I've always wanted to be friends with really cool horn players. So I called Perez, and then Perez brought Spencer along. So this has been the lineup of Wild Beyonder since the pandemic. A, A, B with eight bars each. A, B, A. A, B, A. Okay, so that that works out four bars each. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. It's I mean, I would much rather make a click map than stop and start like eight times. Okay. I yeah, what do you guys, what do you guys feel? Do yeah. you want to like orchestrate the slowdown or do you want to do a um, start and stop kind of feel? How, how can you describe an emotion or a feeling? And I, th- I think if you can describe either of those things well, that's what deeper lyrics are. And we play this song live and it's Lighthouse. And the entire song really embodies just a journey. Like this whole song builds up and builds up and builds up after this big, just, you know, journey that you go through. And there's this huge release. And what happens at this release? You let your freak flag fly. And I just think that, like, for for something that, like, you know, sounds, it, that sounds, you know, just like, you know, so, like, freak flag fly. You know, you think about, those words and that just has such a pungent uh like meaning to it you know immediately i think there's a lot of beauty in being able to pull on your own vocabulary and tell a story that is unique to the music and unique to yourself and hopefully unique to the audience as well i personally enjoy lyrics that make you contemplate 
things, whether that be, you know, about yourself or just like, you know, the world in general or the universe or, you know, things that are, are greater than just yourself as well, you know, but also make things that make you look inward so more introspectively um, and sort of, you know, make you realize things about yourself that you might not have, um, you know, if you hadn't heard these things, you know. I feel like a lot of great lyrics are often, you know, eye-opening in the sense that, you know, once you've heard them, you can't ignore them anymore because, you know, the reality is too striking. I also feel like the music itself, like it's easy to just like put my own ind individual take on the song. One of our songs maybe just like has a vibe where it's just like very soft and like, you know, melancholy. And I could just like choose to put, I don't know, like like a funk lick on top of it, but like have like a the same like vibe to it. I guess like that's just my strategy, but like, I don't know, this music just kind of makes it easy for that. For me, growing up in Pittsburgh, you know, I'm aware that this town has one of the richest jazz histories in the country. We've we we've all grown up here um playing jazz music and learning from the musicians who are based here about how to con conduct yourself on the bandstand and just in general and like being very committed to being the best musician that you possibly can. You know, Pittsburgh is just like the beginning. I don't know, I just see Pittsburgh as just like, this is where it starts. How does that feel? Can we try it again, but this, this time starting on that 106, just to make sure that we're yeah. accurate? Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's 115 right there, so I'll try to remember that. Let's just start at this and see if it. I I I I think that by the time we get to the chorus, it's just half time of this. No, it's no? it's not quite. It's, it's not quite. It's a little bit faster than half time. Yeah, it's a little bit faster than half time. Interesting. Yeah, man, it's all about the feel, bro. Music's a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just think the only thing you really need to know about Wildly Yonder, you can learn by being in the crowd when Wobbly Yonder's playing. I don't know, there's something about just going to a show and seeing people that, you know, that are your age, that are from your generation, that are saying things you want to be said, and just connecting with people who are just genuine people, uh, both in the crowd and on stage. I go out for my walk in. See the sun smiling down on me. It's a beautiful day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 